On this day, the 31st of December, the year 406 AD, the barbarians began crossing the Rhine. Among them were the Vandals, the Alans, the Swabi, the Quadi, the Sarmatians, the Gepids, the Saxons, Burgundians, and Pannonians. The main tribes involved in the crossing of the Rhine were the Vandals and the Alans. They crossed over into the great city of Mainz, which they then sacked and burnt. This was the beginning of the end of Rome. It's not now known why they crossed the Rhine at this time of the year. There are many theories, one of the best ones being that they were fleeing the upcoming hum, Huns. The Huns, as you know, were a tribe of barbarians. A federation of different groups came together to loot, to plunder, and to defeat others. They had been coming from the east, and they had been defeating everyone that stood up, up to them. Many Germanic tribes had fled west and come up against the borders of the Roman Empire. A Roman Empire that had been weakened by internal fighting, corruption, and bureaucratic decay. The Rhine, although it could be possibly a good border, is only a narrow river. And it can at times freeze in winter, in an especially bad winter it can freeze over. But also there were bridges over the Rhine. You can get boats and go across, across it, it's not that wide a river. And there's also the possibility that there were other Goths who were fighting the Vandals and the Alans, and we do know that the Vandals had been involved in a war with the Franks, who were Roman Federati, Federati being a tribe that's in service to the Romans, but not completely under their heel, so semi-independent, but they would fight for Rome along the borders. So the Franks and the Vandals had been beating the living so-and-so out of each other, and it had cost the Vandals up to about 20,000 warriors. They were only saved by the Alans who came to the rescue of the Vandals. Um, we also don't know about the Roman garrisons. Many of them had been withdrawn to defend Italy from the Visigoths, and so maybe that they, the, uh, the idea is that the Franks and the Alemanni, two federati of the Rome, Romans, would have been the ones on the Rhine defending it. But once the, the Franks had been defeated by the Vandals, that would have opened up the border to incursion. There's also the um, possibility, and probably real possibility, that the Vandals and the Alans were starving. One of the first things they did was they went into the city of Mainz, plundered it, and they also did the same to Strasbourg and Worms, although they didn't attack Cologne or Trier. So they didn't attack every place along the border, only specific places. And once they'd done that, they moved in to Gaul itself. So, this was the crossing of the Rhine. Once the crossing of the Rhine had been done, whether it had been over bridges or by boats, 
or over a frozen Rhine. After the sack of Maine, Strasbourg and Worms, they moved into northern Gaul, where many cities and settlements were plundered, attacked, burnt, and there are many um, accounts at the time from various um, bishops and leaders of the area talking about how northern Gaul was plundered. Within three years, they had got to Spain. The Suebi, I think that's how you pronounce it, S-U-E-B-I, conquered Galicia, what is modern day Galicia, northern Portugal, Spanish Galicia, that part of Iberia. The Vandals would go on, first of all, to conquer the land that actually is named after them, Andalusia, so Vandal Lucia, Vandalusia. Then they were attacked and pushed out by the Visigoths, and they went over to North Africa where they conquered Carthage and set up a kingdom which lasted until uh, Justinian ordered his general Belisarius to conquer it. They were also the ones to sack Rome for the first time. Gaul, well, we, well, in Gaul we saw the collapse of Roman civic order. So what had been normal now for hundreds of years started to fall apart. In Britain, three different emperors rose up to take control of that island. The Roman garrisons had already left because of the chaos in other parts of the empire. This was the beginning of the quick collapse of the West, and it wasn't going to be very long now until the last Roman emperor would be overthrown and Rome would be no more. So that's what happened on this day, the 31st of December, 406 AD. Barbar the barbarians cross the Rhine, and the rest is history. If you like these videos, come back for more tomorrow. Like, comment, and subscribe.